I'm, I'm Ethan Flack. I'm recently returned from the UK. I'm Invercargill born and bred. I uh, spent 10 years cooking and, and working in the UK in, in restaurants that had direct access to a garden. Um, and that, for me, that's a big thing. Understanding the seasons is one thing, but understanding the soil is something completely different. Uh, so I've come back to Southland after doing my journey uh, to set up a business. I think the big thing that sets me apart from, I mean, everyone can cook, but cooking is the easiest thing in the world. The biggest thing that sets me apart is I really obviously care about the, the detail of the producers. Like we can have a garden, we've got a garden and we produce our stuff, but it's the small producers that are local to us that I really care about. Uh, to connect with them, understand their story and then share their story through a plate of food. Uh, if we look at like the beef that we had today, I, I'm using the local suppliers, the vegetables. I know the Wilson family have been out there various a number of times. You know, their daughter picks the maywee to go on the dish. Um, I've got a really strong connection to all of my small producers and really trying to showcase that through um, the plate of food. Share their story, give them a voice. There's a couple of big things I've got from the private course itself. Again, the one thing would be accountability. You know, you're having bi-weekly meetings, um, with the team uh, to keep you accountable for your goals and keep you working towards where you want to get to. Um, it's all very well saying something, but unless you action it and do it, it doesn't happen. So those bi-weekly meetings are important and I got a lot from them, as well as the speakers. I think the, the range of speakers that have come. But then you've also got the, the speakers that are you know, from Christchurch or that have come down to us and had that lunchtime session, really connected with the, the course and then gone on to speak to the community in the evening. I mean, you can look at that in two different ways because they're given their time, which is great, but also they're speaking to us as one core group and then speaking to the community. And I think when you've got a voice that's saying one thing uh, at lunchtime as well as the same thing in the evening, I think it's important because uh, it keeps you focused and you're not, you haven't got someone who's changing their stories depending on the market. Um, they believe in what they do, they've got the goals, and they're really keen to, to showcase it. So for us, again, it's a small food business. We've got a couple of weeks left to get it legit and make it happen. And um, we're gonna take over Southland, that's, that's the target. Uh, no, it's, it, is, well, it, is, it is and it's not. We want to have a food space here in Southland. Um, we'll do this small food business, uh, private dining in people's homes for probably 12 months while we look for a space. Um, I think to create an offer that is an experience rather than just a plate of food. So someone's, you're buying tickets to an event or you're buying tickets to an experience uh, rather than paying for a main course and a dessert. Because then, then we as a business can showcase you know, what we're doing, what our beliefs are, our vision, as well as the story of the small producers. Um, and having a, a food space rather than a restaurant, for me is massive because the mindset in a restaurant is it's the same menu, you know, it's open from this time to that time, um, this is what they serve, this is what they do. But the idea of a food space is we can do a five course tasting menu one night, and then the next night we can do a pizza night, then you bring the kids. Or, I mean, you can bring the kids to the five course as well, but slightly different atmosphere, different feeling. You know, if the, if the small producer's got loads of Swedes and we've got lots of lamb, and then we'll do, you know, we'll cook a big roast, we'll do a Sunday roast. Um, so just having the flexibility to, to work with the season and the soil and the small producers, I think, is, is the big thing.